Hey YouTube viewers, welcome back to the Vinmeister channel. If you've been watching my videos recently, you'll know that I've been producing content about my trip to Europe in November 2022. Well, I finally made it to the last video of this series. Today, I will be recapping the third city that I traveled to in Germany, Cologne. If you're planning to visit Cologne and are looking for more information about how to travel there, you've come to the right place. Stay tuned and I'll tell you everything you need to know about Cologne, Germany. In this video, I'll be talking about the following things, general information about Cologne, places to visit, how to get around the city, food and accommodations. As always, feel free to skip ahead to a specific section of this video if you'd like, but before you do that, please show your support by liking, subscribing, and hitting the bell button below for more content like this. Let's get started. General Information Cologne, Germany is a vibrant city with a rich history and a blend of modern and medieval charm. It is home to the impressive Cologne Cathedral, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and offers a range of historical attractions including Roman remnants and medieval architecture. The city boasts a vibrant arts and cultural scene with museums, festivals, and a warm and welcoming atmosphere. Cologne's scenic beauty along the Rhine River, excellent shopping and dining experiences, central location, and easy accessibility make it an appealing destination for visitors. Places to visit Number 1. Cologne Cathedral Cologne Cathedral, or the Kölner Dom, is a world-renowned Gothic masterpiece located in Cologne, Germany. It is one of the largest and most impressive cathedrals in the world, known for its stunning architecture, intricate details, and soaring spires. The cathedral's interior is equally breathtaking, with beautiful stained glass windows and ornate decorations. Visitors can climb the tower for panoramic views of the city, and the cathedral's historical and spiritual significance adds to its allure. Cologne Cathedral is a must-visit destination for its cultural, historical, and architectural importance. Number 2. Hohenzollernbrück The Hohenzollern Bridge is an iconic landmark in Cologne, known for its impressive railway and pedestrian bridge. It connects the Cologne Cathedral and the city centre with the neighbourhood of Deutz. The bridge is characterised by its distinct iron lattice structure and multiple arches. One of its notable features is the large number of love locks attached to its railing, symbolising the romantic connections of couples. Number 3. Cologne Triangle the Cologne Triangle is a prominent high-rise building situated on the banks of the Rhine River near the Rheinhofen district. It is an architectural landmark that stands at a height of 103 meters with 29 floors. The building's unique triangular shape sets it apart from its surrounding structures and gives it its name. To go up to the observation deck, it will cost 5 euros. Getting around Cologne, Germany is a vibrant city with a well-developed transportation system that allows residents and visitors to travel conveniently within and around the city. If you're arriving to the city via Cologne Bonn Airport, there is a train that you can take to the city centre. It takes about 30 minutes to get there and it only costs 3 euros. Tickets can be purchased at the machines in the airport train station. Now, to travel within the city, you can also take the train. There are many types of tickets you can purchase single journey, 24-hour tickets, and tickets for a longer period. While I was in Cologne, I didn't take the train to get around because all the major attractions are actually within walking distance from Cologne Central Station. Food One restaurant that I ate at was called Max Stark. Overall, my experience there was great. The quality of the food was fantastic, and the service was excellent. In addition, for a sit-down dinner, the cost was inexpensive. I ordered roast pork with braised onion and I paid 10 euros for my meal. It was delicious and quite filling too. Another thing I liked about the restaurant is that they had many options on their menu, some of which were authentic German dishes and they also had a variety of beer you can choose from. Accommodations Compared to Berlin and Munich, Cologne is not as touristy. However, despite being a less popular place to visit, staying at a hotel is still expensive. The cost per night will easily be over 100 euros. During my trip, I stayed at a hostel called Pathpoint Cologne Backpacker Hostel. I paid about 23 euros for the night and I would highly recommend it. The place was clean, well maintained, and an added bonus was that it was only a 5 minute walk from Cologne Central Station. 
And that's a wrap. This concludes my Europe 2022 trip summary. I hope you found these videos informative. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section below. Also, if you like my content, please show your support by liking, subscribing, and hitting the bell button below for more videos like this. See you next time.